You might be wondering how to get all these badges. Well, you are in the right place. Keep watching. Legacy username badge. This is the one, the hashtag badge. Now this badge came after Discord removed the all identification system, which was with username and the hashtag with four digits and became directly a username as you can see. And the badge is here, as you can see, originally known as and the username with the hashtag. If you changed your username manually, you will get this badge. But if Discord forced you to change it, for example, you did not log in to your account for a long time, you will likely find Discord changed already your username automatically. So I don't think you will have this badge. But if you change this username manually, so you got the update and then you changed it yourself, you should have it. If you don't see it now, just go to user settings and go to profiles, scroll down, you will find it right here, legacy username badge. And if you disable it, it will disappear. If you enable it, it will appear again. Limited time badge. Now this badge actually doesn't have anything special because it's gone. It appeared for a week, I guess. It was with the clown update. If you remember the clown update, when you had to open all these loot boxes and once you open nine of them, you will get one decoration that is a clown and you will get that badge for a limited time like a week or something and now it's gone the third badge you want to talk about is the quests badge now this badge is really easy to get if you want to get it just scroll to user settings and then go to gift inventory you will find the quest right here so you click on accept quest and then you will have to download the game actually if you want to download it just click on play game it will take you to the website where you can download the game from and you will have to actually stream this game for 15 minutes to a friend and then this progress will become 100% and you will get it guys. I don't have a good internet to download this game sadly But I am sure other quests will come and once a quest that its size is small I will download it guys This is it the fourth badge I want to talk about guys is the hype squad houses badge These are three badges hype squad brilliance hype squad bravery hype squad balance now to get them You just scroll to use the settings and then go down to hype squad and join hype squad and then you will have to answer these five questions randomly and you will get a badge depending on your answers now guys as you can see i go to house of bravery if i want to get another one just click on take the test again and change your answers you will likely get another badge of the three badges okay i'm not lucky enough to get another badge but anyway i actually made a video about the answers that you need to answer for each badge so make sure that you watch this video to get the badge you want if you want to remove this badge just click on leave hype squad so i don't want to disable it as you can see i got it in my account I active developer badge now this badge is given to people that have an active bot so to create one you just come to bot ghost a website you click on create a bot after that it will ask you to do login using discord so you click on authorize and stuff if you actually used bot ghost before you will get directly this but let's create a new bot so to, to do that just click here and then click on add the new bot and it will ask you for a bot token so what you're gonna do is come to this website discord developer portal you click on new application you name it for example a test two and then click here and then create after you create it just come to bot and then come down click on the receipt token click on yes do it and it will ask you for two-factor authentication so i will do it and come back so as you can see guys i just did the 2fa you come here to the token you click on copy and then you come back to the website you paste it here paste let me just remove this little space i made okay and then create bot right after you do this guys you will have to invite the bot to your server so let's create a server for us to test the bot in so you come to discord you scroll down you click on the plus sign you click on create my own from from a community and don't change the name just create it and then come to the server settings right and then come to enable community still get started select these two next next and then select this option and then finish setup after you do this step you will invite the bot now to the server so you come back to the website you click on invite and then you choose the server as you can see so let me just find it continue and then authorize and then it will ask you for the captcha just select it and yeah now the bot is here online as you can see now we'll add the comments to it so you come to modules as you can see you scroll down to active developer badge and you will need to enable it click on enable click on save changes and this is it guys and now actually if the bot is offline or whatever happened to it you just come to settings and then come down and you will find hit the bot status you can make it offline by clicking on stop and then you can make it online again by clicking on start which is going to appear just right here if you want to restart the bot click here if you want to remove it from bot ghost click here so this is it as you can see i just added the comment to the bot let me just start it come here slash 
active dev badge of course you will have to restart the bot just like i did click here and as you can see the command ran successfully now click on check status this is the website you're going to find in description and as you can see guys you will get this and after you wait like 48 hours 24 hours you will get these options click on the servers you'll have to select the applications select the server and then just select the channel click on claim and yeah you just claimed your badge if you come back to discord you will just find it like this yeah as you can see hype squad events badge so actually this badge guys is not obtainable you can't get it in any way discord previously in 2018 2017 used to give this badge for people that used to attend an event or even organize one it was like a little partnership that you are helping discord to grow so you're doing advertisement to discord so they would give you this badge and they will send you a package that has a t-shirt with a hype squad on and some other goodies so this was like a marketing system but now it's gone sadly so it's not obtainable and this badge is so beautiful and so raw about the bag hunter guys so this badge is still obtainable you will have to report like 10 high reports of a bug so we can get this green one and if you report a one critical bug you're going to actually get this golden-ish badge and how to report that it just it just that you need to enter to this website and through this portal you will be able to report any bug and of course there is an explanation down here which explains which bugs are accepted and which are not and about early support a badge well this one is also unobtainable so people who bought Nitro before this date, because that was the first time that the Discord Nitro was launched, Nitro Gaming. But now there is no way of getting this badge. Early verified bot developers. So this badge actually is not obtainable. Discord gave it for users who verified their bots back in 2020. Last month was August and after August 2020, no one was able to get it as far as I know. Discord staff badge. So this badge guys is obtainable, but you will have to work with Discord. So you will need to apply for a job in discord.com slash job. You get lucky enough and you have the experience they need. You will be able to join Discord staff team and then you will get this badge in your account. Moderator program alumni. And this badge is not obtainable, guys. It is unobtainable for now. So this badge was given for Discord moderators who were able to actually fulfill the requirements for the moderator program and they passed the test because there was a test that they had to answer the questions of. And if you answer them all correctly, they will give you this badge. It was at first blue and then it became orange. The Patna Discord badge. So for now, this badge is not obtainable because Discord closed the partnership program. But once they open it, you will be able to get it. And to get this, you will need to have a server that meets the requirements for the partner program. Nitro plus busting badges. So these badges are actually for money. So you can't get them for free. You can't get them for free when Discord launches a free tutorial. I mean, follow my channel. I, I will make sure to share every Nitro free tutorial. But for now, to get these two badges, you will need to pay Discord money. So we will go to user settings and then go to Nitro. And you will need to subscribe to this one and you will get it. This is it. This was the video, guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and see you in the next one. So I'm from really, so I'm really fast. فذكر النفعة الذكرى سيذكر من يخشى ويتجنبها لشقاء الذي يصل النار الكبرى ثم لا يموت فيها ولا يحيا قد أفلح من تزكى وذكر اسم ربه فصلى بل توثرون الحياة الدنيا ولا خيرة خير أبقى إن هذا لفي الصحف لولا صحف إبراهيم وموسى